Hey, Mark here from Whole Latte Love. Today I'm going to show you how to fix a problem where you can't get your uh, drip tray back in or you can't get the brew unit back into an Anima, Anima Deluxe or Anima Prestige. Really pretty easy to take care of. Uh, something you should know is usually this is caused by, uh, you know, maybe a little user error where you tried to remove something uh, before the machine had fully reset. But we're going to take care of this real easily. So we'll start right off. We'll do the brew unit last. This, they can't get the drip tray in first. So you just can't get it in. So what do you do? Well, it's really pretty easy. All you're going to need to do in this case is take the drip tray out. And then there's a little switch right here. I'm going to use this little uh, pick to do this, but you could use a screwdriver. Slide it in, and I'm going to hold on this. And it's going to move, things are going to move around. You got to keep holding, holding, holding. And if you don't want to create a mess, it's going to go through a rinse cycle. And then the brew unit is going to continue to move after that rinse cycle is done. I'm going to stop that rinse cycle so that we don't make a mess. But now realize I still have to keep holding this. And there, the brew unit just reset. A little bit more. And once you see that, then you're good to go. Now your drip tray should slide right back in. Pretty easy. So we're going to pull down and we'll set it up so I can show you how to take care of a brew unit that won't go back in. We took care of the problem with the drip tray when you can't get that back in. But what about if you've got a group that you can't get in your brew unit here? It won't go back in. There you go. You push it in and it doesn't lock into place at all. You know, it should lock in. You should have to push on this to get it out. If, if it's coming out without that, you've got an issue. So what we need to do is trick out a sensor. I'll point to it right here. It's right here. It's this little slot. So we need to stick something in there uh, to fake out the machine a little bit. I'm going to use like this little piece of cardboard. It's about that size. You could roll up something like a, a dollar bill um, and get that in there. Um, notice on the front right now, this is a symbol for the brew unit. It's saying to put it in. We can't. So we're going to come back and look at this after we trick out the sensor. So now when we come back and look at that, the brew unit symbol is gone. So now it's really easy from here. All you have to do is close the door. And now it's rotating the gears in there so that this will be able to go back in. What I'm going to do, it's going to want to do a rinse here. I'm going to stop that so we can keep things a little cleaner. So once I see that check mark, I'm just pressing the aroma strength button here to make that rinse stop. Now we have to wait for the machine to go through some more cycles, so listen. There's one there, and then there's going to be another one. Then once we see the coffee cup and the bean icons there, then we're ready to go. So we'll open this back up, pull the tray out. Make sure to get your, your little uh, piece of cardboard or whatever you used out of there. Then when you go to put this group back in, this yellow part needs to be up. Mine is in the proper position, but it could be there. So make sure that's always pushed up when you go to put that back in. Now we slide it back in, and it locked in there. I can't pull it out. Again, I'd have to push on that to get it out. So I'll put that back in. And there we go. We're in. Close the door. Close the tray. And you're ready to go back into coffee. Now, if you have any questions about this, use those comments. And of course, we'd be more than happy to help you out. I'm Mark from Whole Lot They Love. Thanks for watching. Want to learn more? Subscribe now so you'll know about the latest videos on everything coffee from Whole Lot They Love.